What's happening guys? This is TV Steve. I'm just going to do a little uh, run of my uh, basement. I call it game room, but there's a lot of other stuff. I'm a big hockey fan, I'm a big Sens fan. Uh, so I've got a lot of hockey memorabilia as well as obviously game stuff. So uh, I'm going to show kind of both at the same time, just for fun. i got some time to kill, so I thought I'd do it. Here it is. Alright, here we go. Here's Team Canada uh, frame, picture and frame. Um, Nothing crazy about it, there's no signatures on it or anything. Um, it's a copy, but I thought it was kind of nice. Nice looking. Definitely good since the World Juniors just ended. This one here is Esposito Brothers. Uh, you Boston and Chicago fans obviously would like this. Signed by both Esposito Brothers. It's hard to see there, but it is signed by both of them in this one. I got more of that kind of stuff coming up here. We'll take a look down here. I got the 1972 DVD set, Team Canada, wow. the Summit Series. Every single team made signature as well, which I thought was really, really nice touch. Over here I got Gretzky, a bunch of nice pictures in the background, him winning the cup, you know, a bunch of other things, and I got his signature right there as well, uh, which is really, really nice, really expensive piece. Over here, I got another nice big poster of my poster. I can't talk. Poster of my favorite player, uh, Carlson. And over here, I got my Xbox One box. I got the headset, which I'd like to get an Xbox One headset, which I'm going to do eventually. Uh, if you look down here a little more, I got a few just random PS1 games on the left. And that's my Xbox One collection so far. I'm trying to get more. I'm trying to get uh, that updated. Well, not updated, but. I'm trying to get it, I'd like to have every single one, I know it sounds crazy and it's expensive, and trust me, it's been expensive by the most. Over here you see my, as you can tell, my big, all my Sen stuff, Sen blanket, I got my, my kid stuff here, I got her toys that she can play with as well, with the bed that's full of dog hair because the dogs sleep on there when we're not looking, I got a nice little poster up here as well, of the Sen's arena, picked that up at Walmart for like 20 bucks. Yeah, I got my Go Sens Go, I got some pictures, I got my jersey up here. Oh, here I just got some odds and ends again, it's just stuff I pick up for, for really cheap uh, stuff like uh, a Carlson uh, figurine or whatever. Uh, I got some pictures of when I, you know, when I did the Sens Mile, which was really fun. Uh, I got a bunch of Sens stuff up here. Uh, here we got, now we got another, no, this is my retro, my retro area really. Uh, I picked that up for free. I picked up at, uh, at a game store for free. Actually, they gave it to me, which was kind of nice. all the stuff you see is pretty much what I've I've collected. Everything I've show, I'm showing you now, uh, I've got a decent collection, not a crazy amount, but not bad. And I got some more loose ones out here with a Model Two and a couple of Sega Master System games with one of the nice big controllers here. And then over here, we'll go to just my last stuff. I got my TV here, my 50 inch. Got a nice little Destiny poster on top there. Uh, I got some Wii games. Wii games are nothing special. Uh, you know, most of the regular ones you see all the time. And then I got my Wii. I got my original Xbox. A couple controllers. Xbox One, obviously. And that's pretty much it. Well, that is it, guys, for my game room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to post it every January. And hopefully uh, every January uh, there's more to to add um we're gonna have to see my basement isn't exactly that huge as you as you obviously saw but i'm hoping to to do that if you guys can like the video that'd be amazing uh i'm hoping to do a couple more giveaways uh stuff like that maybe more incentives for you guys to take a look at uh, some of the stuff that we do uh bearded mike i know always uh, always posting videos uh, constantly. He works like a dog, that guy. I mean, he really, really tries to put a lot of content out there. Um, we're trying to come up with some new stuff. I'm probably going to do a top five videos, uh, top five video games of the year of 2014 uh, very soon, uh, which will, you should probably look out for. Uh, other than that, here's a little bit of Alien Isolation, which is going to be most likely on the top five because it was a it was a great game, really hard, but a great game. I didn't do a review on it. I kind of slowed down on the reviews because there wasn't a lot of people really that interested right now. I might go back to it in a few months once we get a few more more hits on the reviews. But uh, anyways, and like I said, actually before it was opinions, not even reviews. So I tried to do a little more. Uh, 
I do highly recommend Alien Isolation. That is one game I will say you should grab. Uh, it's a long game. Uh, it's, it's hard, very challenging, and a lot of fun. A ton of fun to do. Very scary. So, anyways, guys, that's it for me. Uh, hopefully you guys subscribe. I'll see you later.